ها يبدا كل لحظه يتجدد يا عيال زايد البيت متوحد قولوا يا قطعة من الروح نرسل لك احنا شواك ويا حمام الدوح غاليين طيبين جينا نرد الدين والله نحبكم احنا العراقيين Efficiency of Emirates and today from Sharjah with Mr. Albert from Aeroport Company. In the beginning, Mr. Albert, welcome. Thank you very much being here. Thank you. Mr. Albert, in the beginning, tell us who is Mr. Albert and when did you came to UAE and how you start your business in UAE? I'm uh, Albert Koster. I'm the CEO of uh, the Euroborg group of companies. I'm 58 years old. Um, I started this business, well actually my father started the business in 1977 um, as a distributor only for Holland. I joined the company in 1982 um, because I was kicked out of school all over and my father said maybe it's better you come to work. Um, but I was very uh, uh, technical oriented, um, I was uh, doing the own maintenance on my motors and so my father said, uh, you know, it's, it, I'm, I'm a technical guy. Um, when I saw the products he was distributing, uh, very quickly I thought there's a better way of doing this. So I started to fabricate or change uh, machines in the garage uh, during the weekends and this has during the years has developed in something that I wanted to have my own brand. Um, that started actually in the beginning of the 90s. I got in contact with people from, from Germany who were in the same situation like I was. We joined forces and we started to assemble, still not manufacturing, but we started to assemble uh, machines at that time. I've done that for 16 years and so I take it from 1992 to 2008. And this is when I decided that for, the, for, for, for our businesses, um, it was met much better to uh, manufacture our own uh, equipment. And that really means manufacturing. branches in the whole world. So let me ask you about the, this branch in the Middle East. Why you choose the UAE and, and uh, uh, the way to, to start your business or start, you start your business in, uh, in the Middle East? Well, it, it has actually several reasons, but I come already in the UAE since 1992. I was working here together with a local distributor and business was going very well. And as I just mentioned, when we opened the production facility, we moved it to Far East uh, because we can work more efficient and more economic over there. And by the way, we have a great team over there. Um, we needed actually a place uh, geographically seen in, in the world for where our logistics would fit best. And we, we actually came to UAE. The um, uh, reason was that because I came very long here, I think that the atmosphere, the climate, uh, economical, the progress uh, that the country made 
um, was very impressive. Uh, don't forget, I already came here in 1992 and I remember that uh, Sheikh Zayed's road yeah. was on the seaside in the UAE. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's a very important factor. Um, I think that the regulations, which is uh, especially also in UAE, regarding the, 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 the laws which are more severe than we have back in, in the West, but it also results in feeling actually more safe and it's not a fake safety, here you feel really safe. Really safe. Yeah. And in the business also it's more safe if, if like have like advice, if you want to give advice to another business men in the whole the world who want to start the business in UAE, what you would say? I would especially advise them to choose the location in one of the free zones. I think the free zone is really extra safe. I wish to thank the Sheikh, but not only him, but I think that we have to thank the, um, the in general, the rulers of Dubai, uh, especially because I've seen, and you see that in, on the airport very clearly, um, the vision they already had in the 50s, and to choose this direction, I think they have been very accurate to predict where this was going, and look what happens, it's yeah. all come through. Now, uh, for the end, if you have a special message to someone who's supporting your life, to whom you want to send this message? I have actually two things. One, I want to thank my father for the opportunity he gave me because I was at that time a difficult boy. I was 18 years old and I thank him for the opportunity he gave me and, and the trust he had in me. And I want to especially thank my team. I'm working with wonderful people in the organization. We have in total 120 people working in, at Eurobor. Um, we have a variety of cultures which makes it extra interesting. We have Ukraine people, Pakistan people, Indian people, Finnish people, Dutch, American. And uh, it's an enjoyment to see them all work together with the branches. And, and especially in the last years where we have a lot of Zoom meetings so people can actually see each other, which was different than before. 
um, it's, it's an enjoyment to, to work with such a team who are devoted and who believe in what we're doing every day. Yeah. Mr. Arbit, uh, before the end, if you can mention your locations in uh, New York and in the whole world. So we have our location where we are right now in Sharjah, Airport Free Zone. Um, we have our manufacturing plant which is just outside Shanghai. Um, we have two locations in Russia. Our main office in Russia is in St. Petersburg and then we have a branch It's in the metal uh, area Chelyabinsk. We have opened in 2015 our branch in um, uh, USA, in, in, in Birmingham, Alabama, out of all places, but I love it there. It's a very warm, uh, warm place. Um, and of course we have our location in Holland. Holland, yeah. This is the center of Europe. It's, it's in the center of Europe, Europe yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. Albert, we, it's an honor to be with you today and we thank you so much for this great interview and we hope each other and see you in the next location. Absolutely, and I wish to thank you also for this opportunity and I hope we will meet again.